Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Lisa, and I'm back with another review. You hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about coming to America part two. As you guys know, guys, coming to America came out and it is a smash. I'm so happy that it actually came out. It's been about 30 odd years actually longer than that since the original one came out and I was a little bit skeptical I kind of delayed watching it because I wasn't sure I was gonna like it and I actually did like it I was really surprised you know I, I have to admit though it wasn't as funny as the first one you know the first one I mean you could watch it like a thousand times and never get tired of it but this one was good too um, I'm so happy that you know um, Eddie Murphy and our studio hall they are amazing guys first of all before I get started into this um, our studio hall and Eddie Murphy they look amazing for their age. I was watching an interview just the other day. Arsenal Hall said he's like 65 years old. What? 65? I mean, he looks as though he's somebody that's 45. You know, even maybe he can pass for his late 30s. He looks good. And um, Eddie Murphy looks as well, good as well. They both look amazing for their age. And I was like really surprised when I heard that Arsenal Hall is actually hitting, you know, his uh, mid 60s. And which is uh, obviously makes sense because the first original one came out like odd, over, over 30 odd years ago. So it makes sense. He was, you know, his 30s, late 40s. So it makes sense that he would be that age. So but it's really surprising because they really look good for their age. <laughs> anyway, guys, coming to America too. I was really happy with it. It's it's funny. Um, you know, I really appreciate that they brought back a lot of the old cast. John Amos came back. Uh, George Earl Jones, uh, excuse me, I can't say his name wrong. <laughs> James Earl Jones, he came back. And um, some other cast members came back to, um, you know, um, do their roles again. And it was amazing. It was fun to watch. It was a good laugh. And you guys definitely should watch it. I mean, I think what's really good about this film is that they, they, they brought back a lot of things from, you know, um, part one, you know, the whole McDowell's versus McDonald's. So that was good that they um, had that again. And also, I really like that. So <laughs> not to ruin it for you, but in the first one, if you remember watching it, um, um, Eddie Murphy's character, Akeem, he was supposed to be married to a woman and, uh, it, you know, it didn't work out because she was kind of not, she was a really nice, attractive woman physically, but she didn't have a mind for herself. Anyway, so she's back <laughs> and she's still hopping on one foot. <laughs> <laughs> and I found that so funny because <laughs> I mean he asked her like do you believe me do you, would you do anything that I would do the first one if you saw the first one he's asked her anything I say um, you'll do it and she's like yes whatever you like and all these years later she's still drop, hopping on one foot and barking like a dog <laughs> so I found that really funny <laughs> that they uh, incorporated that into um, part two so definitely guys if you haven't seen it um, I would say you know give it a chance, watch it. I don't want to ruin it for you as usual, but Coming to America Part 2 is really great. And I really like that they uh, brought some new people in there as well, like Wesley Snipes. Um, I really liked his character. I felt he did a really good job um, in his role. And uh, it was nice to have a lot of, you know, musical interludes, a lot of uh, um, performers, um, you know, singing their songs and, you know, mix the songs. And you know what I was really excited about? Salt and Pepper! Oh my God! They are like... I haven't heard from them in years, in a really long time, so it was nice that they brought back um, this group. I mean, they have, uh, I, they were one of the groups that I really liked in the 90s, and uh, in Vogue as well, that was good. Um, I, you know what I mean? I feel like there's a lot of groups that are have disappeared that we would love to hear from again, and those two groups are just two groups that I wouldn't mind hearing from again now. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of people that they do music and they just put out a song, put out a song, put out a song. It doesn't have any context, but I mean, I wouldn't mind hearing from In Vogue, Salt and Pepper. I wouldn't mind hearing some new stuff from them. So it was nice uh, having them and seeing them in this film. Anyway, guys, you guys got to watch it. You guys, I mean, it's worth a watch. I mean, it's good to have a laugh, especially now in the, the pandemic. You know, it's been like a while, you know, since, you know, anything really good has come out. So it was really nice to have, you know, Arsenio Hall and Eddie Murphy do their normal stuff. And of course, they, um, you know, they did uh, what they did in the first one where they played like half of the characters in the barbershop. So that was good again to see those uh, to them for them to revive their old roles that they did, you know, like over 30 odd years ago. So, guys, Coming to America Part 2 is definitely worth watching, definitely worth seeing. Watch it if you haven't watched it and uh, watch it again and, and tell your friends. Anyway, guys, you know the drill. If you like what you saw, if you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe and share with your friends because guess what? It helps the channel. And uh, put a thumbs up too because that also helps with the channel. Anyway, guys, bye for now.